Thank you for joining us today as we honor the class of 2021. I am Mindy Geyer, Assistant Principal for the Senior Class. While this year and today's convocation may be different, I know these students well and they are up for any challenge. I am proud of what they have accomplished thus far and I am looking forward to one more amazing year together. Class of 2021, you have a busy year ahead. As seniors and leaders of the school, this will be the last year of your high school careers and a preparatory one for the next chapters in your lives. You will be faced with various decisions, many of which will affect your future. However, with the support of parents, teachers, family and friends, many of whom are with us today, I believe you are ready for these challenges. The Senior Convocation is not only a celebration, but a formal introduction of the senior class to the community. I would like to welcome everyone who has joined us today for the official start of the 2020-2021 school year. I would also like to welcome those who join me on the platform this morning, Mrs. Lee Donovan, Principal, Mr. Mark Brandenberger, keynote speaker, and Mrs. Robin Salzberg, President and owner of Lester by Adolph. Please welcome our principal, Mrs. Donovan. Seniors, when you were freshmen, you made a commitment to graduate, and now here you are in your last year of high school, almost at the finish line. It will be my honor to hand you your diploma as you walk across the stage in June. Make this year count. Think of every class as a preparation for your future. Treat everyone with respect and kindness. Enjoy your time with your friends, and most of all, be kind to your parents and families. Seniors, please join me in thanking your wonderful parents and families because they have helped and supported you all the way. We would now like to honor our seniors who have recently received a distinguished commendation from the College Board. Each year, sophomores and juniors across the nation have the opportunity to take the preliminary SAT test, which is both a practice for the SAT as well as an opportunity to compete in the National Merit Scholarship Program for juniors. The National Merit Scholarship competition gives commendation to students whose PSAT scores taken in their junior year rank within the top 5% of the 1.5 million students nationwide. At Godwin, 12 students were among this prestigious group recognized last spring. This year, we are delighted to recognize the following 12 Godwin seniors who earned a National Merit Commendation. These students are Abe Daranikota, Siddharth Ranga, Elizabeth Urshenko, Arupava Seha, Sridhatri Kand Lakunta, Abigail Sublet, Vijay Nagandla, Ashish Vaidyanathan, Shreya Rajkumar, Grace Walters, Shakthi Ramasamy, Jalen Wang. This next group of students earned National Merit Semifinalist status, an honor given to those whose PSAT scores are within the top one third of those who earned commendation status. This means these students scored in the top one third of the top 5% nationwide. Being a National Merit semifinalist opens the doors to many elite college scholarship opportunities. Congratulations to Ashley Hagen and Fareed Sheriff. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you our keynote speaker, Mr. Mark Brandenberger. Mr. Brandenburger is the Specialist for Health and Physical Education for Henrico County Public Schools. He is the former Health and Physical Education Department Leader and Teacher at Godwin High School. We appreciate Mr. Brandenburger joining us today to celebrate the Class of 2021. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Mr. Brandenburger. Godwin High School Class of 2021. Welcome to Convocation. I'm Mark Brandenberger. I've missed you. It's so good to see you. We're going to talk about many things, but today, most importantly, is not 
where you're going or why you're going there, but what you are doing. Please maintain six feet of social distancing during convocation. Thank you and enjoy the ride. In June of 2021, here is a copy of your Godwin High School diploma. So what is today actually about? Today is a celebration about honoring you. It's about understanding what we've done this far in education and our commitment to moving towards our goals for the future. It means, am I life ready? Am I possibly ready to enlist? Could I enroll in higher education? Am I employable? But for you, it's so difficult because you are trying to figure out whether or not you even know what the halls of Millsy look like. So, it's going to be okay. I went looking for you, and I realized that you weren't in the bleachers of the gymnasium, meant for pep rallies. You weren't in the cafeteria, hanging out in the commons before school. You were not here with this guy, who was very friendly and helped me update my Dell laptop. But the operation was still better than the alternative waiting two miles at Deep Run High School. So you're still in the right place. Question is, what place is that? So, again, I went looking for you and realized that you weren't here yet. So as I looked around the intersection of the 100s Hall, and realized how vacant everything was. I began to realize how things must be for you at home. I found some indicators that you had been here. Ways to be happy. New murals on the wall. But 2020, what has it meant for you? I know you would tell me that no one could ever tell you what you can and cannot do. I heard that when you all were freshmen. So who's telling you what you can and cannot do now? Let's not limit ourselves. Society is telling us that we might be limited in terms of what we can do outside of our own homes, in terms of risk for COVID-19. The year went very, very smoothly. It was a wonderful start to the year. But ever since then, we're kind of in a state of agitation and we're looking for opportunities to get out and do some of the things that were risky. So maybe you're not going to glory days. Maybe you're not out with friends. These are your freshman photos, by the way. Or maybe you are. Some of you have jobs. Some of you are continuing to pursue employment, trying to support your families moving forward. Was this your summer pool situation? Have you let yourself go? We should be concerned about COVID-19 and what it means for your education. But does it really mean that we need to let this happen? I don't think anyone would think so. So, can you plan for your future if you don't understand the right now? Where are you? And so we're going to take a look at where we are and your path. To do so, we need to find out where we were as freshmen. Could you still do that today? And what does that mean in terms of your success moving forward? We're going to talk about motivation theory. We're going to understand our reward center that many of us in society today are externally motivated by what other people say or think about us or that things happen to us rather than us maintaining the control of those things and our attitude. So we're not going to have a September pep rally. It's already gone. We're not going to have an October pep rally. But when you all were freshmen there, 
Would Taylor ever have the opportunity again to do tug of war as a senior? I don't think so. But wait, we could be wrong. There may still be tug of war going on in your lives right now. So let's talk about you. That's what we're here for. I've missed you. Today, we're going to look at the things you can do and find out your why. I know if you were in my lunch study three years ago, this was a major opportunity for you to grow, trying to beat me in Hangman. But we are going to take a look at some of those things in Chapter 2 that make us tick and make us excel. Hey, you came back. I had to take my jacket off for this one. We're about to get into the thick of it, taking a look at motivation theory in Chapter 2. Motivation theory takes a look at the relationship between achievement and motivation and comes up with four different character types. We're going to take a look at each, see if you identify with one or more as it will relate to what our next steps are. What I really like about visiting Godwin during closure is that I see signs that you all have been here, taking a look at this hexagon, part of the hive, from ways to be happy. Remove worry, doubt, and self-judgment in your negative patterns of thinking. Remember that you are in charge of your attitude. So let's look at the overmotivated overachiever. This is the perfectionist. You probably are thinking about someone from your junior year courses when you were seated at a desk. High levels of expectations and failure is not an option. Some of us are driven to be this way from high expectations, not only from ourselves, but from our families and teachers. So take a look at what dangers could lie for that person if perfection is the only option. Is it you? Are you the perfectionist? Take a look at yourself. Remember that pressure can create a diamond, but it can also turn some of us into perfect basket cases. How are you doing in class? Is this you, the letter G? Are you engaged? Are you joining on time? Are you attending all of your online meetings? Is this your chemistry class? Are you highly engaged? Have you set up an environment that is conducive to your success and that you have certain expectations of yourself every day? And for Michael here, I don't think that's anything new when we look back to freshman year, is it? The second type, the undermotivated overachiever. This person is the natural. It appears that everything comes easy to them. They're born with outstanding skills. It looks like they don't have to work hard or practice much or extend much effort. Things come to them. But there is a flip side to that. Perhaps they don't apply themselves. Is this you? Distinction. Looking sharp is easy when you haven't done any work. So is the natural ready to take that next step and push themselves further? Take a look at your lunch study. How are you spending your time? Thinking back to when Garrett was a sophomore, he remembered how hot the classroom was. But is he still his lunch study doing this? Or is he taking that time to apply? Is he taking that time to find out what do I need to do to ensure my success? The natural isn't always looking ahead, but is focused on the now. Next type, the overmotivated underachiever. This was me, the tryhard, making every effort to excel doing the best that we can, but only with moderate success, especially when I'm measuring myself against others. There's the pitfall. Giving my best effort, planning for that, is the best that I can do. Is the try-hard you? Is this you, attempting to get the giraffe, doing everything that you can 
even though you might not be the fastest or strongest lion. The tryhards, working hard in class, not giving up, and realizing that not everything may come easy, just like Tyler here, acting out Romeo and Juliet. The last type, the undermotivated underachiever, what you may call a slacker or coaster. They perceive to be disaffected, apathetic, cynical, or lacking ambition. They're just kind of chill. They're not necessarily looking for achievement. They don't need the motivation to achieve. They will do the work. They will find the inherent value within themselves. The trick is finding the motivation. And this is where a lot of us fall now. What is my motivation? What am I doing? I feel like I'm doing it alone. How do I get help? Is the sloth my spirit animal? Some of us feel that way Monday through Friday. Ironically, we've placed here some of our finest orchestra students. There's Sean in those pictures. And you better believe that if you are in performing arts at Godwin High School, you are not a coaster. All right. It takes hard work and dedication, as many of your other programs and student athletes alike would agree. So finding the motivation, finding the thing that makes you excited about school helps with motivation in other areas. So for us, don't think that just because we accept you as you are doesn't mean We've abandoned hope that you will improve. We have faith in you. And in chapter three, we're going to take a look at what those steps are. How can we make that change? How do we learn from the things that we've done so far in high school? All right, this is it. The end of the show, chapter three, what to do next. Self-help. Where do we go from here? What can you do to maximize your motivation and realize the achievement you desire. I had to lose the button-up shirt. I'm now wearing my class of 2021 shirt because we are amazing that you all gave to me freshman year when you all were coming in the door. So let's take a look. What do we do now? So many of us are freaking out. What will happen? Will we still be able to do the things this spring or even this winter that we hope to do? This is the end of our high school career. How do we maximize it? So very simple. Go back to kindergarten. Think of the simple rules. Be kind, be excellent to each other. In kindergarten, you raised your hand all the time. You asked questions. You yearned for answers. You had a growth mindset, not fixed. You knew you could grow. If you believe you can, you will. How do you make yourself active in learning now? Do you make yourself visible on camera? Do you ask questions? Do you unmute? to participate in discussions, you are in charge of engaging yourself in class and in learning. This tree, achievement, trying to reach light. There were many days where it almost didn't survive. It had support, the rock, the earth, other plants, and it looks like it still has some tough times ahead. But it's motivated. What motivates you? For Guy, love of life, love of learning. And he shows it every day. And he harnesses those things that he likes and enjoys and correlates them toward academic achievement. 
Go back to ninth grade. What did we teach you? What did Miss Tool teach you in terms of goal setting? Finding out how things relate to your future and then setting a smart goal toward them. Now, specifically, I know that she asked you to eat marshmallows. In a demonstration of challenges that some others might have. And it will help us in understanding that we all have difficulties and deficits and making sure that we're setting realistic goals and understanding what our barriers are to achieving them and then making an action plan to overcome them. So find your purpose if you've lost it and pursue it with all of your might. So again, some things may not happen. We don't have the answers. We'll just have to wait and see. But one of the things that may happen is your parents posting their prom pictures if you don't have a prom. So for everyone's sake, we're going to hope for the best. We'll make something happen. Because we don't want this on the internet. And some of you have been practicing and are preparing for the prom. So if you're out there, you're finding that motivation. You're preparing for achievement. Tarion is ready for what is going to come. If you were with us for health in the ninth grade, some of us talked about the character of the Grinch. The Grinch had corner people in his life. His moms, Sally, some of his classmates, not all of them, his teacher most often, and others in the community. We have to remember who are our corner people that helps us when life is beating us down. You can always email me if you need to chat or if you need us to help find someone for you to talk to. But remembering who your corner people are, some of them are your teachers and they're there, just a virtual team meet away. And while we're not gonna, all going to be able to receive a hug from Miss Stevens, which would make so much of this feel so much better, trust me, we will figure that one out. We will find a way that if you need a Miss Stevens hug, by golly, we're going to get you one. So stay tuned for more information. But for most of you, it comes down to your friendships. Your true friends know your weaknesses, but help lift you and show you your strengths. They feel your fears, but fortify your faith. See your anxiety, but free your spirit. They recognize your disabilities, not inabilities, and emphasize the possibilities with you. So your friends are there. Rely on each other. Be good to each other. Be excellent to each other. Because in the ninth grade, these people enter this journey with you. And in a few months, they're going to be finishing this journey with you. So reach out to each other. Look after one another. And remember, always communicate with a trusted adult if you're ever worried about yourself or someone else. You're almost at the end of this road. Convocation is actually the first step officially in your senior year. So whatever happens in June, here's a picture from this past June where graduation ceremonies were held online. There's Miss O'Bannon, our representative, and there I am watching graduation. But whatever you do for the rest of this school year, near the end of graduation, there will be five words that will let you know that your time has almost come and that you are ready for the next step of your personal journey. Five words. 
kind words, and they represent what Godwin is all about. I'd like to share them with you. John Michael Wallace III. Thank you, Godwin. When you hear those words, it will almost be time to, for you to throw your caps in the air and celebrate your successes. I wish you the best of luck, and we're also very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brandenberger. On behalf of Godwin High School and the class of 2021, we would like to present you with the small token of our appreciation. Thank you, Ms. Dyer. Thank you, class. Members of the class of 2021, by virtue of the authority vested in me and on the recommendations of the faculty, I declare these members of the class of 2021 seniors with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. The senior members of the Madrigals, under the direction of Mr. Duvall, will now sing I Celebrate Myself, composed by Michael John Trotta. Thank you. 
Thank you, Madrigals and Mr. Duvall, for that wonderful performance. We will now hear from our superintendent, Dr. Amy Cashwell, followed by our Tuckahoe District School Board Representative, Mrs. Marcy Shea. Hello to the class of 2021. I'm Amy Cashwell, and I'm honored to speak to you today. I want to commend you on leading the way in safety and academics during this unusual year. While our classes are mostly virtual for now, we all look forward to gradually returning to our vibrant high school buildings. No matter which high school you attend, an architect designed it. Seniors, you each have your own construction project, the most important one you'll ever encounter. Each of you is the architect of your own future. I challenge you to cultivate qualities and experiences now that will impact the future for you and for others. As an architect, you design for the present with an awareness of the past for a future that is unknown. Our Henrico Learner Profile contains tools that can help you build for the future. I ask that you think critically, make decisions thoughtfully, seek out patterns and connections. Think creatively, don't be afraid to learn by experimenting. In other words, your superintendent is telling you it's okay to make mistakes. Build a quality character, inspire trust, practice integrity and perseverance. Be a global citizen. You are part of a much larger world and you glimpse it in your own classes. You might know that in our schools, over 100 languages are spoken and students represent more than 100 countries of origin. Demonstrate compassion and respect right now to help create the world you want. Communicate. Do not believe the idea that those who talk the most or are the loudest know best. Actively listen and then express your own understanding of the world. And finally, collaborate. No one builds a skyscraper on their own. It takes engineers, contractors, construction workers, and more. Work with others to reach common goals. We don't know what's to come, but we do know that what you design will inevitably change as your life unfolds. That may seem intimidating, but it's a good thing. You can do it. Ask, what am I good at? What do I enjoy? What does this world need? Use what you're learning about yourself to do what you can today. And so, architects of HCPS high schools, thank you for listening today. It's time to go back to the drawing board and see what you can design today. Hello, Godwin, senior class of 2021. I bring you greetings from the Henrico County School Board. The next time I have the honor of addressing you as a group will be at your graduation in June. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves or fast forward too quickly. Before we look ahead, let's cast our gaze back over the last months on what we've learned that can be helpful as you begin such a momentous year. One thing we've learned is that we never really know what is coming next. And honestly, there are times when trying to predict what's coming is of limited value. The level and dimensions of uncertainty you've learned to deal with is hard to fathom, including a whole host of not knowing for this year, such as not knowing what the rest of the school year will look like, what part will be completed in the building or on the computer, not knowing how many waves of the virus there might be, not knowing the long-term impacts the the pandemic will have. Not knowing your next steps after Godwin, enrolled, enlisted, or employed. Amidst all this unknown, however, you've been flexible and you have adapted. You jumped into virtual learning last spring and have found new ways to collaborate with friends. You've begun to discern what is essential and what is not. I urge you to carry that adaptability forth with you this year and beyond along with these three things. Number one, focus on the next step, not the next 10. This means start this year by engaging with your teachers, classmates, and schoolwork, and maybe be bold enough to turn your camera on. 
Work on what's in front of you while making progress towards your goal. It's about the journey this year and a major one lies ahead of you. Enjoy it. Number two, recognize that we don't have to do things the way they've always been done. 2020 has highlighted systemic gaps in the status quo. We need to train ourselves to ask the harder why questions. We can't just accept things as they are, and we can't just sit around being critical. As a society, we are in desperate need of active minds who are willing to challenge the status quo with real, actionable ideas, and who are willing to engage in a respectful social dialogue about how to accomplish this change. The class of 2021 is primed for this level engagement like none before. Number three, think outside the academic box. Subject matters do not exist in silos. Science, economics, sociology, communication, and history are all woven together. They rely on each other for meaningful solutions. Empathy and knowledge are more powerful together. I'd like to conclude by suggesting that in my opinion, to solve the issues facing us, we don't need the same approaches and solutions. We don't need more, we need different. Frankly, we need you. We need your ability to synthesize your academic knowledge, to pick up new things along the way, and to empathize with your community as you craft new solutions. Many of the careers that the class of 2021 will have are jobs that don't yet exist. We need people who have learned to be adaptable and flexible and to apply what they know in new ways. Who does that sound like to you? I hope the next time I get to address you all will be in person and that I will get to see the accomplishment and pride on your faces below your mortarboard and tassel. Whatever the journey from today to June looks like, as well as the path beyond, I know you will be leading the way. Class of 2021, we know this has been an unusual start to the year. While we may not be together in person right now, please know that we are thinking about you and miss having you in the building. A few of your teachers wanted to share some words with you as you tackle the next few months ahead. Class of 2021, uh, Coach Simons here. I want to just congratulate you on everything that's been going on uh, and getting better every day. Um, obviously, our situation that we're in uh, puts a little bit of a uh, change, but like you've heard before, you are writing history. Uh, you are part of history, and I want you to be able to go into your uh, future lives looking back and knowing that this is going to make you stronger. Okay, you got an obstacle. Instead of quitting and turning around and going the other way, all you did was go through the brick wall. You went around the brick wall. You went over the brick wall. Okay, you made yourselves better by the situation that you've been in. And it's going to make you a better husband, a better wife. It's going to make you a better mother, a better father. All right. Uh, I look forward to seeing the great things that you accomplish in your life. Uh, come back to see us and uh, know that we are here for you. Take any limitations that you might have and turn them into a glorious outcome that you are going to make for yourself. Love you guys. Best of luck. God bless. Hey, Eagles. I just want to say congratulations to you all. I've gotten to know a lot of you through my homeroom, through my classes, and through my clubs. And I'm just so proud of you for your resilience, for your dedication, and for your motivation. I know we're going to see a lot more of that this year. I love the way you guys support each other, and I love your positive energy. So congratulations, and go Eagles. Hey, seniors. Congratulations. I know it's been a crazy time, and hopefully soon we'll all be back together. But keep working hard. It's all going to be rewarded at the end. And hopefully by that time, we'll all be able to celebrate together. And we'll see you soon. Class of 2021, today proves something that we have known about each of you for so long. You are so smart and you are so awesome. And I, for one, can't wait to see each of you in a cap and gown in June. Congratulations, seniors. Have a great year. Dear Class 2021, I wish you all the best of luck this year, and I hope uh, everything uh, turns out the way you want it to at the end, as well as uh, you do great things this year and do even greater things when you graduate and go on to college or wherever you may go. Uh, I have great expectations for you all. You've done great things so far this year, and I expect even more from you. And I wish you all the best of luck uh, in this year and in the future. And I appreciate everything you do for us every day. Love you guys. Love H.
Go Eagles. Congratulations, class of 2021. Here's some words for you from La Señora Anduesa. During these challenging times that we have been living in, you, seniors, have given your best effort to continue your learning with incredible enthusiasm. I applaud your positive spirit. I applaud your flexibility in all this. Keep them with you all your life. Best wishes to you, seniors, and now and in your life. Mis mejores deseos para ustedes, hoy y siempre, de todo corazón, la señora Anduesa. Adelante, seniors. Class of 2021, seniors, welcome back. You guys are an awesome group of students and have accomplished so much in, your past, in the past three years here. Um, I've gotten to know you on the field, in the classroom, as ninth graders, 10th graders, and 11th graders, and I'm really proud of you guys and can't wait to see what you make of this year. Um, we can't wait to have you back in school and have a terrific year. Hi guys, you made it a senior year. Yay! I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you in person. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Take care. Miss you, love you. Eagles, we made it. We're still here. You're still here. I'm so proud of you. We're all so proud of you. You need to remember, they can't bring you down if you don't let them. We're still here. We're still grinding. You still be who you are because that's what we need in this world. All the noise you're hearing, remember to let it go away, let it fade away, quiet it down, because the noise you make, the joy you're going to bring to this world, everything you bring to everyone is making our world better every single day, every second. Thank you for including me in your life, and I just look forward to seeing all the wonderful things you do. Congratulations, class of 2021. You all have a very special place in my heart. We all started here together. I miss you very much. I look forward to seeing you again. Take advantage of this senior year. Do the best you can and enjoy every day. Seniors, wishing you all a great year. I miss you all. Hoping to see you all soon. Congratulations, seniors in the class of 2021. I have a quote I'd like to share with you. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course as you believe you bob aimlessly into the current. Wouldn't you know that your path was there all along, waiting for you to knock, waiting for you to become. This path does not belong to your parents, your teachers, your leaders, or your friends. Your path is your character defining itself more and more every day, like a photograph coming into focus by Jody Foster. Seniors, I hope your photograph comes into focus. All right, hello Godwin Eagles. I hope everyone is doing well. Hey, I don't want to take a second to just give you the usual uh, good luck and best of luck. I want to take a moment to tell you a quick little story about a little boy named Bobby. He was around about 44 years ago. He had a dream that one day he would be able to speak on a convocation video. And today, thank you, Eagles, for making that dream come true. And so my wish for you all is that one day your dreams can come true. And I encourage all of you to keep living your dream. Thank you and good luck. Hello class, senior class of 2021. I absolutely love and adore you. I wish I could be with you in person. I'm sending you my love. I'm sending you the biggest hug that you've ever had. I am so proud of each and every one of you. And I have had the privilege of teaching many of you and your heart is golden. I am sorry that we're virtual, but if you think about it, I mean, really give this some thought. You guys are writing history. This is the first time we've ever started school virtually. And I don't know if you've given any thought to that, but your grandkids, your kids, your grandkids' kids, and from that point on are gonna be talking about this. They will come to you and say, Grandma, Grandpa, what was that like? Did you really live through that? And what are you gonna tell them? And if I, from the ones that I know, who have a heart that's bigger than this building, you're gonna tell them how you helped everybody else. You're gonna tell them how you went and got food for some of the elderly that were too scared to get out. How you helped your brothers and sisters that were younger and possibly scared because they haven't done things virtually. You are some of the greatest young people I've ever had the privilege of teaching or even knowing. And I am honored, to be, I am honored that I've had that opportunity 
So I wish you only the very best. I love and adore each and every one of you. This is temporary, but when we come back, I will greet you with open arms. I love you, I'm proud of you, and thank you for sharing your life with me. I am truly touched by that. Blessings to you. You all have a blessed year. Bye-bye. It is now time for us to honor the senior selected as the most valuable eagle. Each year, members of the senior class nominate peers for the honor of the most valuable eagle after considering the following. The most valuable eagle should be one who values education highly and strives daily to reach his or her potential, sets goals and works to accomplish them, makes contributions to a variety of school activities, exhibits character, integrity, and loyalty, has an optimistic outlook, recognizes teachers and peers as valuable human beings, takes risks for positive causes, takes pride in his or her accomplishments, and celebrates the accomplishments of others. The six seniors who receive the most peer nominations become finalists in this process. These six seniors are Amal Ali, Terion Fields, Grace Kilius, Jordan Huey, Arapava Saha, Joseph Thompson. To be recognized by your peers as individuals who possess these noble characteristics is a tremendous honor. We are proud of all of you. Joining me at the podium now for the announcement of this year's Most Valuable Eagle is president and owner of Luster by Adolf and generous supporter for over 25 years of the Most Valuable Eagle Award, Ms. Robin Salzberg. Hello, thank you for inviting me once again to present the award for the Most Valuable Eagle. It's been an honor for our family to present this award for many, many years, and thank you for allowing Luster by Adolf to be your community sponsor. Congratulations. We thank Luster by Adolf for their generosity and the beautiful watch that was hand-selected for this year's Most Valuable Eagle. It is now my honor to announce the Most Valuable Eagle as selected by the class of 2021. Congratulations, Grace Kilius. We surprised Grace at her home since we could not all be together this year in person. You are nominated by your peers and voted on by your teachers to be the most valuable eagle this Aww. year at Godwin High School. Oh, yes. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Very I'm going to well cry. Oh. This is a um, watch for you. Oh, wow. Thank from you. Adolf um, by, by Luster, Luster by Adolf wow. Jewelers, specially picked out and engraved for you That's... as a gift oh, for being goodness. the most valuable eagle. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. I've missed you both very much. I uh, missed you too. <laughs> missed you too. And we will recognize you in our um, virtual convocation oh, okay, thank on you. October the 29th. Gotcha. Thank you. The senior convocation. So, congratulations. Thank you so much. Yay. Proud of you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to say anything? I have nothing profound. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yes, thank you to everyone that voted. It means a lot. I'm very glad that I can represent us in the way that I do. So thank you all. <laughs> well, thank you and congratulations thank and you. good luck with virtual learning. Thank you. It's been so much fun. <laughs> you are doing a great job of Aww. keeping everything together. So we thank appreciate you, you for thank doing you. what you're doing. Thank you so much, Grace. Congratulations, Thanks. sweetie. I wish I could hug you. <laughs> Me too. Yes. Oh, big hugs. Big hugs. Yes. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you to all of our families and guests for being with us today. Students and faculty, be sure to read the Eagle's Irie online, which includes the announcement of the Most Valuable Eagle. This concludes our senior convocation. 
Many thanks to everyone who helped put this presentation together and to our students and their families for watching. We wish you the best year possible and hope to see you soon.